Ahoy, friends. It's me, Dave Landau. After a long night on stage, I like to kick back with a captain's hat and a fine cigar and watch the Dennis and Andy show. These guys are huge nerds, but they're the kind that you actually want to hang out with. Enjoy them. I do. What is up, everybody? It is us, Dennis and Andy. And who's this guy? This guy. This guy's the legendary Bud. Camera. Bud, as I call him, Mother Effin' Root in the house. His daughter is in the room, so he can't call the full name. I never say the full <laughs> name. And uh, I'm looking at the screen. It's not look, the, yeah, I am. <laughs> the camera's off. I'm looking at the screen, not the camera, because I can read your comments this way. Prater yeah. is in the house. But we are... On live and it location. AJ says, Bud! Steven <laughs> De La Vega. Hail Andy and Bud Root. Dennis gets no love for wow. Steven. I think. Steven. <laughs> we love that. I remember that. Yeah, I remember that. Prater 7. Bud Root! What is up? That's right. We are, on, we are on location. This is only our, only our second time being on location somewhere. The first was the brewery. Right, right. The brewery here, so you you're you're in good company. It's Other than conventions, zone. but those don't count. Oh, hyper guys, you slamming the jabs. Glad you guys got some talent associated with this project. <laughs> <laughs> so am I. And we have a beagle. Look at that. We and got what's the beagle's name. What's his name? It's Wolfman. Wolfman, there you go. It's Wolfman. Uh, Marcus Calibru it's says, "Hey, old bud, you met him at Heroes Con." Hey, what do we got? Marcus, was it? Marcus Kellegrew. He sat on the table. Oh, yeah, Marcus. He was the one that filled in for about. me, remember? That's right. He was the Dennis <laughs> fill-in because Dennis had some Marcus. stupid wedding to go to. So dumb. And I noticed that uh, we were just talking to Shelton from Heroes, and he didn't even mention that I wasn't there. Unlike you, who repeatedly <laughs> did. Says, AJ says, hey, Dennis, move over to the right a couple of feet. That would be, <laughs> no, to the right. No, no. That's that, the that, left. No. Oh, that's the left. Yeah. No, he's looking at the screen. No, no, no. He's saying it right. I'm no, closer I don't think to he is. There we go. I don't think he is. He wants to be closer to Bud. He just wants you to put <laughs> sleeves on. No, he that's always what? wants me to put sleeves on. And they say this. this never, I don't have sleeves. Those are arm prisons. I don't own those. That, that's one of the complaints about the show. It doesn't have enough romance. It does. Right. You may want the, to move the, a little the, But that's why I... I, I you got the guns out. Us. Right. Gotcha. Hyper Kaiju was... says, Wolfman. Ha ha. He likes the name. Wolfman. Uh, what's Prater saying here? Mr. Root, what kind of blackmail do Andy and Dennis have on you? Blink twice if you're being held hostage. <laughs> oh, yeah, you, should, you should see the pictures. You know. What you can't Blink see, twice. What, what you can't see is the vice that I have. Nether regions that I but can it's suddenly not just a crank vice, up. It's a vice grip, right? This is but it's not my hands. It's Dennis's. <laughs> oh, this now is Dennis you let go of them. Driving all the way to Florida <laughs> with this guy. It's the whole way. Yeah. Amish Ninja. Hey guys. Well, hello to you, Amish Ninja, and Amish of course Ninja. other people in the house. That's Chad. Randy Howe. Is it? Yep. Amish Ninja's Chad. Oh, Chad. I, awesome. I thought yep. I saw his last name was. Oh, okay. Everybody. Yeah. It all depends on what he signed in. On. Chad and there, of course, more on the envelope. You know, of course, he does. Korsrath does not wear sleeves or a shirt. No, well, right, and neither does Dennis. Yeah, well, see, we we have, we have. I wrote. Guns. I wrote him after There's my physique. Yeah, I don't need to show the guns off. I'm not insecure like the Dennis. only difference is Korsrath <laughs> has a six pack. I have a half barrel. Dennis likes to show his. <laughs> Dennis likes to show his big guns to make up for something else. I get it. It's like driving yes, a I, I have average sized feet. Yes. No. Wolf is very shy. He's very camera shy. He is. Maybe he's a good boy. He's a good boy. Love pet sitting him. Uh, AJ says, You're right, Dennis. That glare in the window is brutal. Oh, oh that's what I said, but nobody. nobody no. Amish Ninja, big fan of Bud's work. Aren't we all? Thanks. Thanks, Amish Ninja. Chad. Yeah, Chad. Dennis is living free and sleeveless, baby. That's right. JP Roka in the house. What's up, JP? Hello. JP. JP. 
we're just teasing all this. By the way, I want to thank you all. I had a great, uh, great closing of First Man. Um, you guys really came through. Everybody that backed First Man, thank you so much. Thank you to all the uh, backers over the past two days. The campaign is now closed. It closed on a very high note. I'm going to finish shipping. Well, I'm going to start shipping those books out tomorrow. So uh, it does get better every year. Though. So you can be on the lookout yeah, for those. Line, you know. Yes, it ages Most slowly. Most get bad as they get older, not heavy. So finally, I'm like a fine wine. I age well and I smell great the older I get. Uh, Randy says, "What's nice. the dog's name?" It is Wolfman. 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 Oh. Wolfman. What? Look at the camera. Look right here, buddy. There. He's like, no. Nope. That's my beagle. <laughs> beagle He's my beagle. adventure pal. Great beep, great beep. Wolf E says, so excited for this. Can't wait to order. Hopefully in a couple of weeks. Been working on a campaign every day. So congrats on closing out first, man. How many packages do you have to put together? A little under 100 I have to send out. So thank you for asking. He brought in his slave labor again today. Oh, stop it. It's not like you wore the you you had the ball gag in. You wouldn't wear it. So you're like Abbott and Costello. Spill that cover, Reverted. funny book man, or the oh, Trekkie gets it. Oh, oh well, just so you know, there's two Trekkies here now. Oh, oh yeah. God. And just Thank so you guys know, God, I'm not surrounded. I will be doing an unboxing. I'm hoping tomorrow I got the Playmobiles USS Enterprise. It's almost 40 it's so inches cool. long. It lights up. It does so much. The box is enormous. I just got it last night. So I'll do an unboxing of it, and it'll probably take a couple of hours to put together. It's 150 pieces. You know, it's funny. But you guys are going to have to take a peek at this. Susie actually told me. She goes, I'm so glad he got this. I finally have something over five inches to play with. Because <laughs> it's 40. Always, yep, She's over thrilled. 40. She She's is thrilled. thrilled. It's to like be able to... eight times the size. She's Andy. finally like I can use. Math. She's finally like I can use both my hands on something of Dennis's. And Amazing. not to get off topic, but it has little Lego Kirk, little Lego Spock, right? Scott Scott. Playmobil, Ahura, yeah. uh, Sulu, Chekhov. It's amazing. But anyway, I'll do an it's unboxing video, and then no, I'll do a fine. full review of it. Uh, Stoked Art says, enjoyed First Man. Core Draft looks awesome. Thank you cool so book. much. Cool so cool. Uh, let's see. Hopefully Andy buys the slave labor supper. Probably not. Nope. Doesn't even buy me popcorn. Neither does his daughter. And AJ says, Andy explained the no gang sign policy to Bud yet, but we don't like gang signs being thrown up here. So by the way, when we close it, yeah! Oh, no, that's not a gang sign. Whoa, that's yeah. not a gang sign? It's, this is and there's, and there's this, too, right? this oh, yeah! is a gang sign. No gang signs, guys. Too late. <laughs> Ridley, you said you brought it up, and Bud can do that. You're just jealous. The Crips and Bloods are coming after us now. That's Thanks. fine. This is this is Spider Van Buren and boys. You, right? That's the Van Buren boys. Let's let's show this cover. All then right. we'll talk Drum to roll. Bud about his career some. First, Ooh. Bud does large art. Look how big this is. And yes, it is the backs. I'm teasing you. That is this is Such a 14 across by 18 high. This is a big piece of art. And this original art will be part of the campaign. So if you want to own a piece of Bud Root artwork. You can own a lovely shot of Lilineth with some uh, snaky type cool looking <laughs> monster thing. It's a dark worm. It's a, a dark worm. So, yeah, there dark you go. Worm. It's a dark worm. And uh, this is the cover. This will be scanned and I will send it off to uh, Dan Lawless for color. Um, I can try and get it a little closer. I don't know how well the focus will be on it, but obviously once it's colored and scanned, oh. once I get it scanned, I'll send it around to people. Uh, once it's colored, obviously everybody will see it. And but, when we go live, it will be right on the web page. And this will, this original art will be available to purchase as part of the campaign. So, uh, we're, we're still talking about what we're going to put it up for. So don't ask. Um, cause I know you guys, <laughs> I know you guys are dying to ask how much, well, can't tell you yet. We don't know. Still got to figure it out. This is Bud Root's art. This is Bud's art. He did a, he, man, I tell you what, you knocked it out of the park, brother. So I, I texted Home you. run. When, you. When, when, when I was. Oh, wait, hold on. No, wait. Everybody wants to see me. They don't want to see Dennis. So oh. <laughs> they want to see me and Bud. They want to see what? There you go. See, see now, now you're looking at three beautiful things. Now you're only looking at one. 
and it's not Karu. Oh. <laughs> oh. The twisted mind of Andy Smith. Every yeah. time he could just cut one. Yep. Okay. Yep, we do. I'm <laughs> telling you, when, when I was writing the character and, and, and coming up with her, I have, always have this image in mind, and, you know, that is that is amazing. That had, is perfection. I had no idea he had any talent. I had it. Uh, I just got amazing. here. Who drew that? Says forty uh, percent Zed. Bud Root, fantasy good girl artist extraordinaire. It should is be who drew this, and it'll be uh, one of our variant covers. This is going to be yep. This is going to be a variant cover, the Lil and If cover on the campaign. So uh, there you have it. What is AJ saying now? AJ, it, well, actually, I did show up, but I didn't read it. Randy says, "Drain me, you suck of us." Oh, Randy. <laughs> You're so randy. <laughs> Knowing Bud, there's an uncensored version too. There's not. <laughs> no, 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 not of this one. Not for this no, campaign. Not, not, of, not of this one. Bud but, was like, hold but, on now. She's normally right. <laughs> well, it's weird. Bud, Bud, I don't know how many times he texted me going, now I just want to make sure I'm I'm hearing you right. She's wearing clothes. And I'm like, yes, Bud. She's not naked. He's like, five minutes later, you did say she's wearing clothes. I said, yes, Bud. She's not naked. <laughs> So, you know, we had to clear no, that. I, to, to, be, to be clear, I would rather draw without the clothes because then you could put them out on the table and you could sell them and people don't walk by, open up your portfolio and go gasp and then <laughs> move on to Andy's <laughs> table, you know? So I'd rather not have clothes. You know? That's right. I'd rather have clothes. Piper yeah. guys, you says Bud Root strikes again. Clothes. Oh, I hear you. I want you to wear clothes. <laughs> I, I begged you to wear pants for this. Uh, I would not be on clothes don't, around Don't you stand up. Me. Just don't stand up, bud. They don't need to see And when Andy right showed now. up at my door, I had to go in and put clothes on. That snake, thing. Th that snake thing That's is amazing, people, too. You know, we all Thank don't you. wear clothes until people come by. We always drop. Oh, naked. there's a great comment from Hyper. Damn, he says. He loves it. That's a good comment. Hyper loves it as well. Of course, Amish Ninja does. Awesome picture. You know it. Is that a predator? Predator. Okay. predator. There's Professor. A uh, there's a wolf. You got a wolf there. Awesome. I've got it all, baby. And then Bud has, uh, what's it? Wait, what's he saying here? Oh, yeah. Bud has stock and post it notes for the conventions. Yeah, he does. He does. He's He's got to put those post its everywhere. So, Bud, what got you? And this is the interview portion of the show. I should act proper now. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Mr. Root. doesn't have it in him. What got you interested? No. So, what was your, what was, what is it that when you were a youth, you saw in comics that you were like, holy crap, these are amazing. I need to do this. Yeah, yeah, no, it, it's, it all started off with, with Fazetta. Because uh, I used to go to, there was a store called England Brothers in Pittsfield, Massachusetts. And I used to go to the, there was a magazine and book section at England Brothers. My mom would go off shopping. I used to look for these these covers. And they had Edgar Rice Burroughs and uh, Ron Howard did these Conan books and, and Tarzan books. And Fazetta did all the covers. And... Uh, I was just blown away by by this man's art. And then uh, um, my grandfather used to take me up after church to a little five and dime store where I'd buy comic books. And I saw a uh, famous monsters of film at, at at this little five and dime store. And in the back were all these paintings for creepy and eerie magazine, all done by Frazetta. And then uh, 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 grandpa saw that I loved this fantasy stuff. He started buying me comics. And I, you know, for like, I think they were 12 cents a piece. Right. Uh, I'd get oh, yeah. I'd get like, you know, Avengers with, with Neil Adams, you know. I'd oh, yeah. I'd get John John Ramita. Um, wow, you are old. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, say, I, I got these guys by, by at least ten years, right? Uh, Andy had them when they were well, a nickel. Just saying eleven to be exact. I yeah. mean, I just you know, I don't want to shortchange you. But no, we'd we'd get we'd get Kirby, Fantastic Fours, you know, we'd get Ditko Spider Man's like, you know. I'd bring them all home and roll them up and put them in my pocket. You didn't think they were gonna be right. ending any day. God, Dennis is, cr Dennis is cringing as soon as he heard you say. Now the problem comics. is that that's I used to do the same thing. We used to go camping. There was a dime store up there. I would go buy all the comic books. You'd roll them up, stick them in your back pocket, walk along either the train tracks or if we were somewhere else, we'd tap bike. They'd be in my back pocket. You'd get school, them out and read them. School. Absolutely. You took them never. To do something. Never have I rolled a comic and put it in my back pocket, even back then. So you've, you've never been a kid. Me. You disgust me. Just just go sit in your corner. Some of the other garbage you do disgust me, too. I'd cut the splash pages out and put them up on... Did you cut out the Marvel uh, value stamps? No, I never did. Did you order anything from the back, like the uh, no, sea monkeys? Not, not from Marvel, but I, I ordered stuff from Famous Monsters of Filmland. Okay. 
Hey, look, we have a comment from who could that be? Dennis, you're all right. Dennis is all right. I'm just all right. That's it. You're just all right. Yeah. Randy, such an innocent face for such a naughty girl. Bud's <laughs> a man. Oh, you mean this? Oh, yeah, you're right. She's 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 badass though. She just looks innocent. That's right. Oh, she's just she, knowing, knowing him, he's just she, gonna be a badass girl. She's she's badass. Oh yeah, she's got some good stuff coming up. So okay, so that so you saw the comics and you fell in love with them, but is that when you knew you wanted to draw the stuff or be an artist? Oh yeah, yeah, right off right the thing. bat. Yeah, no, there was something in me that that had, it was kind of like a it was a foul safe type of thing. Cause as soon mm -hmm. as I started drawing, I thought it was great. You know, I remember oh, thinking yeah. I was as good as Rosetta back in in the mid '60s. And uh, I see some of that stuff now, and it's just so so god awful. I, I don't think I really, you know, I always wanted to be a comic artist since those days. Sure, but uh, I don't think I became good at good at it really until probably the, you know, the new millennium. You know, some of my early cable and stuff I'm not really proud of. You know, well, I mean, it, it's your first stuff though. I mean, I think I think when we all started drawing at first because we didn't have an eye for it, we were just like we're we're the bees knees. We're so good at this. Yeah, there's and something you, in your in your your inner self that, that protects you from realizing how much you suck. Right. So you just give it up and have to get a regular job. Yeah. Right. Well, the funny thing is, I you know, Dennis knows how much he sucks. I mean, just Does ask he, around. I, I do because ask when I drew my first comic book, oh. it was a Star Trek comic book, by the way, manga style. Good choice. I could do the Enterprise, but I can't draw people. So now I just do stick figures. This is why I write and design things because I can't draw. You got This him. is why you guys and his friends. Right. Exactly. Because he knows everybody. I mean, if you need somebody to do your comic for you. So we do have a question for you from Praetor Seven. He goes, if he doesn't mind the question, how did you teach him? How did you teach yourself to draw through copying stuff you liked in comics, books, something else? Because we didn't get to it, but Bud exactly. did not attend art school. So go ahead and answer that question. Yeah, no, you 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 nailed it. I just I started drawing. I started copying Frazetta. I started copying uh, uh, Neil Adams. You know Bernie Wrightson. You know, and uh, copied them over and over again until. And then I started. You know, you, as you as you mature, you start realizing that if you look at real models, you can develop your own style. Mm -hmm. So probably sometime around, you know, when I start, I stopped trying to be. Arthur Adams, you know, I started using real models and, you know, instead of trying to do a, a, a Neil Adams bear, I would actually look at bears on, on the internet. You know? Oh, right. You got the best models. Of well, it's, it's so important. Right? To, yep, to absolutely. Stuff. But I mean, that is a really good point. I mean, I don't know how many people know, but you did not. I mean, it, dude, it's amazing for being self-taught because I'm not. I mean, I went to three years of the Kubert school and had it, you know, really thunked into my head and lots of practice but and that's why you're a real professional you know? no but dude your stuff especially your paintings for being self-taught just you, you got to have a certain eye to know how to look at stuff and dissect it to be able to start from scratch you know because you're looking at somebody's work and you're almost you know taking it backwards like oh that that fully realized presented painting is great but what were the steps he took to get to that. And that's what somebody being self-taught to me really is good at analyzing, whether it's painting or just drawing in general, because, you know, you've got to figure out how do I start something? Whereas, I mean, I did that as well, but then I go to the Kubert school and I had teachers going, well, this is how you start something and, and this and this, and they're telling you. So it's really a big difference. It's from having being inspiration all around you too. I mean, you, right. you had a present up when you walked in the store in the morning. Was a big original Frazetta on the, on the wall on the way into it, wasn't there? Uh, I think there was a Frazetta maybe hanging up. It might have been black. I don't know if there was a painting. Yeah. It might have been black and white artwork. Um, I mean, there but was, there was around beautiful artwork people, all around too, the school. Too. Yeah. Because, I mean, I mean, Bill Stout and uh, and uh, Dave Stevens and Richard Hescock, they had a studio together. And when right. they started working all three of them together, you know, they really started. I think that's when they came up with the Rocketeer, wasn't it? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. So AJ says, uh -huh. I suddenly want a core draft cave woman crossover. <laughs> you never know. Um, I don't know when, I don't know when, uh, I don't know if he was in a studio when he came up with rock tier. I'd have to ask Billy Tucci because Tucci knew Dave Stevens. So I, and sure Dave Stevens is a huge rock or not Dave Stevens, but Billy Tucci is a huge, huge rocketeer fan. 
So well, it's in uh, the it's in the book. He was he was in the studio. Oh, he was. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was a brush with passion. passion. Oh, okay. That was just so they were in a studio when he came I, up with it, huh? I, you know, we ought to get a studio together. I bet you, but my work will double. Probably. You know, Dennis doesn't like the Rocketeer movie. It's he amazing. Doesn't. No. So no, no, he's going to keep saying it. It's just like he didn't watch ET. And but I didn't like watch ET. Yeah. yeah. What am I lying about? No, you didn't. You don't so, like Rocketeer. So I don't mind the Rocketeer, oh, but right. he says. Oh, you don't love the Rocketeer? No, I don't love the Rocketeer. I well, think it's fine. Rocketeer is awesome. I, see, and, awesome. And, and that's fine. All right, all right, Iron Giant. Oh, I love Iron see, Giant. See, Iron Giant, everybody loves Iron Giant. Iron Giant is fantastic. Same, oh, my God. No we actually agree. It's no Rocketeer. Oh, well, it's, 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 it's oh. from the same type of mentality. Right. Sure. No, I like Iron Giant. Iron it's Giant it's just, you know, E.T. can just be thrown under the bus. Like Gremlins, Goonies, and Princess Bride. That's you get used you've to never, I know, you've never seen Princess Bride. And you'll never make as it. As you wish. Unless you tie me down. It's, got, never it's got Andre the Giant in it. I don't care. He it's plays got, a doofus. It's got, it's got the, the he does not play a doofus. Oh, well, that's it's what I get. Billy from, Crystal? That's what I get from you. Know, Who's the woman that's with Billy Crystal in that? Well, that's, uh, that's Jenna. Yeah. Jenna. What's, she was oh, Jenna is that the chick that's from Forrest Gump? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is it really? The, the, yeah. The ship she's yeah, the chick from Forrest Gump. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That. She, yeah that's the, Princess Buttercup. She's the love interest of. Uh, and then Christopher Sarandon is is no, Prince but who's Humphrey? the who's the who's the blonde haired actor? What's his name? I'm blanking on it. He does shows all the time. Yeah, he he was he was in uh, um, oh, uh, Stranger Things. Oh, uh, yeah, he was in Stranger Things. Elway, Carrie Elway. Yeah, that was his woman in Princess Bride, the Jenny actress. Yes. Okay. Yeah, same girl. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'll have to see Princess Bride again. Now, we should have a viewing, you know. Yeah, Andy over. I own we it. could. So of course, we 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 get definitely a few beers. I, I don't I don't know, but this person says that you two argue like a married couple. I wish you'd stop. It's embarrassing. I'm talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, the Rocketeer is great. The film was also fun, and Jennifer Connelly in a thirty. It's got Jennifer Connelly in it. You know. Yeah. yeah. So at that it's point, I can't friends. argue. Uh, what's he? What's AJ saying now? Get back to Bud's career, funny book man. Oh man, AJ, <laughs> I tell you, AJ, there's a thing called a super chat. I'm just saying, talk about a, it. AJ I'm keeps here. you on your toes. At just all saying, times. AJ, you can hit a super chat whenever you want. Uh, Marcus says uh, something about Arthur. Adams. I would say Arthur Adams is influenced by Bud. No, <laughs> no, Arthur. <laughs> no, I, I bought his stuff. He's a huge. Up. I mean, well, I think all of us are big Arthur Adams yep. fans. But yep. oh yeah, Arthur got in what? Long shot was what? Eighty three. Oh god, long shot. Early eighties. Yeah. 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 yeah, Eighty three, eighty four. Yeah, something like love that, that miniseries. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, still. I mean, Gumby. Joke, when I got my Gumby. when I got my first uh, mullet. I remember walking in, and, and 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 they said, "Well, how do you want your hair cut?" And I actually pulled out a comic book and I showed it. And I said, "Just like that." Long and she goes, "I've been doing this for 25 years, and I've never had anybody bring me a comic book and say I want my hair cut for a mullet." So you, you took an issue. Shot. You took an issue of Wonder sure Woman did. of Wonder Woman and said, "I want my hair cut." Like that yeah, you took an issue. You took in a bottle of Mister Clean, and look mullet. what happened. No, I, I actually had a mullet. Then I realized how ridiculous it was. So I was like, "Forget it. I got to shave this all." Is all. Is like That's because you're like Joe Dirt. Um, anyhow, back to your career. So, so you go from being Godzilla, self-taught. He did the best Godzilla. You think Godzilla? Well, he also oh, made yes. Creature from the Black Lagoon. Oh, Creature from the Black Lagoon. Oh, yeah. Come on now. That's a classic. Yeah, right. no, I, yeah, I was heavily influenced by, by Arthur, not, not vice versa. Yeah, I mean, this, yeah, exactly. Look, this, this commenter is very smart. Look, why would you want to, why would anyone want a mullet? I mean, <laughs> I think we because all had at mullets. that time, right. No, if we had we hair, all had we, mullets. we had mullets. No, no. Right. I had a mullet, and then I realized how dumb it was, so I cut it all off. Well, that's, <laughs> that thinning mullet, that wispy little thing, really wasn't a mullet. Okay, AJ, I'll take that. He says, I'll buy you an extra beer on the campaign. I'm not giving half that's of AJ. it. AJ, not a problem. And by the way, the 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 tier for a beer, see what I did there? I rhymed. Uh, the, t- the, the tier for a beer is actually uh, not $10. It's 15 because it's by Andy and Dennis a beer. No, not a beer. It says beer. Oh yeah, it says Mark Bar- Stranger. It's a- he just ordered a book a little while ago. Oh, did he? oh, there yeah. you go. Dark Wait, Strange. was it? Did you get any orders off the stream? I did. I did. Dark Stranger. Oh, you did. Oh, beautiful. Oh. Well, thank you very much. On the thank subject. You very much. Now we have to read. Oh, so there you go. Dark Stranger. Hey, you don't call, is, call me, bud. He says word is that Mr. Root has a Kickstarter in the works. Any it details is. and date to look forward to yes. if true? Yes, my publisher uh, Kevin Alsop is, is working on it as we speak. 
um, I've been too busy on the other books to really contribute, but I'll be doing some writing for it. And he's, uh, he's going to put it together, hopefully sometime early, um, 2023. I hope. Cool. Uh, nice. got another cool. question for you. It goes back to your career. Joseph Stalin says, Bud, what made you dabble into the spicier stuff? Money. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is, I knew the answer to that. I knew the answer to that question, but I'm like, well, I don't know. How, I don't know if he's going to say that. I'll let him answer. And well, that is the answer you know, to that I, question. I got no comment about it. And, you know, my, only, my only problem with doing nudity is you can't put it on the table and you, and you offend some people. Some people come out, open up their portfolio. Like I said earlier, they'll just put it back and, you know, run off before their wife or their, you know. So do you have your them. rated PG yeah. portfolio I and do. then you have your rated X portfolio? I do, I do but, but I, I'm starting something called Presto soon. And, and anybody that really just, just like likes my curve stuff, I don't I think they'll still like it. You know, because the, the most fun in, in doing comic and fantasy work is actually doing the comics. You know, if you if you if you do posters and you do curves, you're going to make more money. You know, but if you're doing comics, that's where the fun is. Yeah. And if you get a good selling comic, yep. which I think Presto would, would do well. Well, I think we'll do. You know. See, Derek Stranger got your book. He says it's Love gorgeous. Derek Stranger, you so rock. There you go. Good. Well, I'm glad you got some sales off of that. Uh, the video I did. Yeah, you've always said that's, that's right. That's the reason I'm going to get Dennis, you some sales. Dennis, Dennis is always, only about he's himself. Always he's a now. selfish prick. I mean, he likes the Packers for God's sakes. Packer, so, cheesehead. That's because we're just used to winning. He's a cheesehead because when he was in school after football in the locker room, they said. Oh, She's had take yeah. a shower. Yeah. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Literally, it was in an entire land of cheese heads. So everything you just said was wrong as usual. This is what it's like being on a road with these guys. You know, and it really the is the whole way. You know, you, if you're going to Macon, the whole four hours. No, know. the difference is on the road when there's no camera around, like most men, Dennis punches me. He won't do it in public like that's a because, real man. That's because you won't shut up. It's abuse. <laughs> it is freaking friend abuse. I'm tired of it. What, oh, you're, look, what you're not go. seeing off camera is his daughter is digging it. She is just laughing. That's all. That comment. She enjoys her dad's. Her dad's wow. You know, I've never humor. actually really banned anybody from a channel before. <laughs> Uh, Randy says, LOL, boobs, butts, and legs pays the bills. I know, right? I should have been, if I knew that back in 1991, my God, my career could have taken a different path. Yeah. Instead, I like drawing the big buff superhero dudes, and who knew? So, oh, well. Yeah, yeah no, he draws, he draws, uh, but he's equal opportunity. Uh, uh, I nude art. He does the men and the women. You know, I, I don't, I mostly do women. Oh, Prater. I was going to say, you do Prater. Prater. Come on now, Prater. I'm surprised Dennis doesn't need therapy as much as Andy rags on him. Correct. You don't see what happens no, off camera. Off camera, he beats me like an abused wife. He's as bad as OJ was to Nicole. He just hasn't cut my head off. You yet. have to be very secure in your manhood to be a friend with Andy Smith. If, well, if, 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 you're, if you're that, if you're secure, then you will love Andy. They wanted to know if I could take criticism. And I says, what do you mean? Are you afraid to take some verbal punches? And I'm like, I'm friends with Andy. I'm used to it. <laughs> it's true. He doesn't even bruise up anymore. I don't. So speaking of not bruising up, we went whitewater rafting, um, and I literally wiped out in the boat, got completely stuck underneath. Worst case scenario, even when you watch the videos ahead of time before you go, if worst case scenario and you get stuck, you have to crawl like Spider-Man underneath the boat, got slammed into it. I actually got my ankles, my left leg, my right ankle, my neck, my arm, all completely smashed, so I, I didn't actually move for two days. And Andy was with you for this? No, no, no. no. Andy wasn't with me for this. His wife. But even with all that, I did bruise. But even my bruises are gone now, so I only bruise for like a day or two, even when it's bad. You like water, white water rugby? Oh yeah, I've done it at the White Water Center. It's just the ocean, you know. Yeah, the White Water Center is my first time there. There's no a lot of fun. There's no sharks at the White Water Center, bud. No, nope, but there are but there are shocks. And did you see on the news in Myrtle Beach? Somebody got shot yeah. by a shark. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, they're, they're, they're good. That's why I don't get into. Did you hear that? Getting more prevalent at Myrtle Beach. Somebody got bit by a shark in the water. So you and Mom had fun when uh, exactly they had put chum in the water, and then Andy was watching the water. <laughs> did you see that? That some eight year old just found a, a a meg tooth. Or it wasn't a meg. It was a, it was, a, it was a, a little bit different from a meg, but it was oh, like, it was yeah. like eight nine inches long or big. It was huge. Wow. Eight year old kid. That's a big tooth. That's a big that is. Oh, that's it's like a molar. And if you wipe out in the surf, though, it's all on soft sand. If you wipe out on, you know, 
Oh, wait. AJ's complaining. We're not talking about Bud's career enough. Oh, sorry. Bud Root is here. Oh, AJ says, it's, it's boring. Uh, I, I, I you draw gorillas. Them. You draw gorillas, though. He does? does? Yeah. I mean, I, well, that's another Bud thing. Bud does great dinosaurs, uh, uh, dragons. Dude, any uh, uh, anything love. like that. But oh. then his his gorillas are phenomenal. Godzilla? Oh. Well, I mean, honestly, though, with the werewolves, tigers, any of the animals that you draw, just the texture that you put into it, even in just the black and white art, is is just gorgeous and then of course it. when you go over it with color and stuff well if so, you look at the earlier like like frazetta tigers and lions and leopards yeah. you know gorillas monsters all the stuff i love as a kid i still love you know, right as an old what um so what got you how did you start because obviously like we said you've never worked mainstream you've just done your own thing independent how'd that start yeah no just just draw and i you know i've got a bunch of comic books i did as a kid you know, and then uh, um, when I was in the service, when I was getting ready to get out of the Marines, I started sending in samples of my, my comics to Marvel and DC and anybody that would take me. And I got a bunch of rejection letters. But you really, you know, uh, you, you can't let it make you stop. So I just kept on doing comics. And, and then uh, uh, after yay many, um, you know, rejection letters, I just did my own. With, the first was James Gang with Bob Smith. And that was so much fun, you know, getting up in the morning and drawing comics, you know, that I, I couldn't stop after James Gang. So I came up with this. Uh, it was a Carvey Kurtzman and Bill Stout did something for mm -hmm. heavy metal called Schmageggy, the caveman. Mm -hmm. And it, it was like little Annie Fanny right. going back in time, Yep. you know, with dinosaurs. And uh, but I it was wanted, a caveman, though. It was it a caveman, yeah, but, but, it, but it had a Harvey Kurtzman who worked with right. Bill Elder on, on uh, Annie Fanny, did all the uh, uh, the women. And pencils and Bill did all the dinosaurs and I think Bill did oh okay he inked both of them but it was like little Annie Fanny back with dinosaurs and I had already started writing Presto with my wife but right. when I saw this I decided to do Cave Woman and then my imagination went nuts and she you know the whole town went back and, and then other storylines came along and you know 25 years later I'm still working on Cave Woman and dying <laughs> to get started on on Presto but you just you don't if you if you do something you love you get better and better at it and eventually, uh, you know, you can you can start conquering it. You know? Sure, I, you know, with Leslie working, we we can afford a roof over our heads with it. And I don't know how anybody can afford it nowadays. It must be hard to start with now. Huh? AJ would like to know: Do you still do watercolor? Um, I I still use watercolor. I use Pelican um, transparent watercolors. They don't leave that chalky stuff over the inks, you know. And I use a, a I mix it with 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 a, a what do you call the, what are the markers that? Oh, Copics. I use Copics. Yeah, I yeah. use Prismacolors. I use, I use colored, colored, pencils. colored pencils too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything that doesn't leave any kind of a milky thing over. I, now, I with the, the watercolors you use, because I, I know, but once again, I'm asking more for people watching, are they the tray or are they tubes? They're you the know? tray. It's the tray type? Okay, the, okay. I, I waste too much when I use the tubes. Oh, okay. And the tray just dries up and you can use it again. Right. Yeah. Okay, cool. Like I said, I know... Lots of people watch and they want to know, you know, exact tools and, and things like that. So, yeah. so that's very cool. Um, and, this you're, is a, and you're not digital at all. You're, you're no, all still no, all old no, school. And, right? Andy, Andy got me a, a, the best, um, what do you call it? Uh, what's, what's a PS? It's the uh, Photoshop. Photoshop. He got me the best Photoshop available. And I tried to master it. I couldn't. So I, I just stepped with the, with the, you know. The mutt drawings with the prisma colors and the watercolors and the pencils. Yeah, but I'd love to learn it someday. Maybe, maybe you, you know, you can take a little time off your busy schedule. Dude, I told you yeah. I would. Uh, Prater has another question. What are couple? What are a couple of Bud's go-to favorite comic books or graphic novels? Oh, geez. Um, uh, go to. So, my, like, if you only had to take a few with you somewhere. Yeah, I, I would take um, uh, Batman Year One. Oh, I, the Mazzucchelli one. Yes. Okay. Uh, and I would take um, uh, the the whole all the volumes of ElfQuest. Real ElfQuest. Really? Elf Quest. really? Do you one. have ElfQuest stuff? I have all of them. Do you really? Yeah, I they, don't think I ever knew that. The most the most beautiful blending of story and art. I, See, I've look at that. Seen. I've known Bud for seventeen years, and like they say, you learn. So I never knew Bud owned ElfQuest, and, and then, he was part gay. And then, so. then yeah, well, that's part. Part that's partly true. 
you know. Right. Well, Southwest. But, and so then, you, I then think you have to. Be. John Byrne, Chris Claremont, run on. I'm sitting in the corner. It's just. <laughs> I like Elf Quest too. I like Elf Quest too. <laughs> I just. You I know. was going to say, like the original magazine size or all of it. But I know the Chris Claremont, John Byrne. That's that's heavily influenced you too. That. That, that's oh, what, yeah, no, the, 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 the John the Byrne, Chris Claremont, definitely. But no, seriously, ElfQuest, yeah. I always loved the drawing style in it. Oh, Wendy was there was just something yes. so unique angles, about her drawing you know, style. Yeah. Now, here's one. I know you've seen this because I'm sure I showed it to you. You know there's an issue of ElfQuest. It was a one-shot where Wendy did the layouts and John Byrne did the inks. Yes. yes. So, so he yeah. was Elf John Byrne. One of oh my yeah, heroes. he's a he's, yeah. he's an Elfquest fan too. And my uh, girl I went to school with actually did the lettering on the book. So have you heard? I, I thought they were they were talking about actually finally putting that together and making a movie out of it. Elfquest, have you heard it? yeah. Oh no, I have hope they do. That? that would yeah, be interesting. It would, it would be right up there with uh, with the Lord of the Rings, I think. But it'd be but I'm trying with, to think with if great I animation. Heard, I don't know if I don't know if this is you know a, a, a fake memory, whatever you call it. But I want to say I heard that they're reprinting Elfquest again. For a new generation, and, yeah, maybe they, like a, not, maybe oh. maybe doing a, a crowdfund. For, I don't know. I could be totally wrong. I swear, I thought I heard that because it's been a while since it's been hey, reprinted. Yeah, no, that that see that. But that, when that first came out, that was all the oversized magazine. Right, that's not, what I'm saying. not magazine. Yeah, it was, it was, it was, yeah, was magazine at first. It was okay, yeah. and then they collected it into more graphic novel type, and then I know they did stuff with Marvel that was comic book it size. Comic, yeah, and then they've had the collections and stuff. It covered it so. covered heroism, it covered cowardice, oh. it covered prejudice. It covered, and there was something you know. about the book. Everybody's got this book, and people go like, what? For me, it wasn't, I liked ElfQuest, and I got it, but it was Poison Elves. Drew Hayes did Poison Elves. Right. And I had everything, and I know Amish Ninja, if he's still on, he's got every single one of them. Wasn't Dark One with the Poison Elves, too? Wasn't that Dark One? Some, some, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, I'm not sure for Greg, everybody. Greg Williams, I think. I, the dark one. I, I know he's working. I just, I just remember the late Drew Hayes. I remember that that was it. But I'd, I'd have to go back and check. But there was something I would pick that up all the because Aerosol. I think it was Aerosol that uh, put it out. I, but it was just something cool about it. And no matter what, I just picked it up. And I, they were like, "Who? What is that?" I'm like, "I don't know. It's just something I like." Yeah. You know, when I first picked up Elfquest, it was like you know. It had a it had a certain type of style. It kind of reminded me of John John Romita if you did else like, like a mix between John Romita kind of, kind of and, uh, and and Wally Wood, right? You know, yeah. if it was like a mix of those, and so that that's what attracted me to the to the to the book. But then when I read it, it blew you away. It was, it was such good stuff. Hit, you know, you know so driven. Randy um, says, "Isn't Dark Horse printing Elf Quest? They might be. I don't know. I don't know I if they're doing so. new stuff. Uh, I have to see. I haven't seen it. Uh, let's see." It, now, AJ, I've bugged him about this, and I think his publisher there needs to get on it. Yeah. A complete Cavewoman hardcover. Yeah, look at the problem. It has been, it, it, it's been what? Cavewoman debuted in 94 or 95? 94. 94. It's been 28 years, and, you know, it's not, if there was a book every month, that would be one huge book. But the nice thing is, there's enough Cavewoman out. You could literally do one of those big fat omnibuses of it. it too. And I tell you, I think that would blow up huge. I actually do too. Okay. Just like she did so, for so Tucci on Indiegogo. I, I agree, and that was fantastic. I think it would be I think that fun. campaign would rock over six figures, no problem. Yeah. I really Kevin, do. Kevin would have done it, but I mean he you know, he went through the brain tumor, he had uh, the divorce, he was you know well, we need to find a way to make uh, that happen. Raising though. a kid all alone, you know. But now, no, yeah, now, yeah. now we're now, you know, things are starting to get better. I wouldn't be surprised if we didn't put out a lot of table and stuff soon. Prater says fun. that uh, they printed a collection called Complete a couple years ago. Seems to be still in print. It's black and white. So there you go. And that's not bad. I actually like black and white. That's something I might have to look for. Um, a cave woman? Okay. No, Elf Quest. Elf okay, that was the Elf Quest. <laughs> the gay woman. Kevin didn't tell me about it. <laughs> uh, yes, this guy is totally correct. You can Google and find it. Dark Stranger says, didn't the ElfQuest creator, speaking of Wendy, uh, used to cosplay as Red Sonia? She did. She did. Yeah. And she was marvelous. Yeah, yeah. So just Google search Wendy Penny uh, Red Sonia. I wouldn't yeah, be surprised. Was, You've seen that, right? That was yeah. a, wasn't that at, 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 at Comic-Con? It was probably one of the early Comic-Cons, yeah. Yeah. So uh, what do we got here? Killer Squid 
says, wow, just got here. Is that the new cover? Yes, this is. For people just joining us, Bud Root is doing a variant cover for Core Draft. This is it. It is I should huge. have put a filler squid in there. That's the only thing that's missing. That's okay. It's 14. Squid, he would have appreciated it. I, I don't want to add another spell. <laughs> it's, it's 14. This is 14 by 18. Not only is it black and white, Bud went in with gray tones as well. I'm having We're having Dan Lawless color it. And this original piece of art Dan's will be available for sale on the campaign. So uh, if you want to own a beautiful piece of Bud Root art, keep checking back uh there you go aj i would be thrilled to publish uh the omnibus of cave woman under astonishing comics but AJ's that is up to bud money. huh uh, aj's got money you got money aj no no astonishing, no, astonishing comics astonishing. is me it's, it's, it's oh, me. oh okay nice. i'll be darned he's saying print it under my label astonishing comics okay yeah you might have to talk to kevin about that first <laughs> i would <laughs> what he means is you have to arm wrestle kevin oh, and I, we all know I, kevin would win no <laughs> Uh, Andy, I can have the original print because I'm such a good mod, right? Oh, Val, you're cute, but you're a great moderator. Uh, prove it by Just posting this. Pat him on the head. From the, uh, from the, uh, from the, the, what is it, the WB? No, no, no. 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 Po post, uh, post the link for signing up for Cordrath, Val, and we'll see how good a moderator you are. He's or, a good moderator. Or AJ awesome. could. Man, I got like three mods in here right now, and I haven't seen that link roll by once. Dennis is going to cry. Don't make me cry. Don't, don't you won't like it if I cry. Nobody does. Nobody cries in comics. He fills up a bathtub. His wife's like, I want to take a bath. And Dennis is like, again? And she's like, yes, the Packers I suck. Just go and like he starts boohooing. The tub fills up. No, that's from laughter for tears because it's so oh, absurd what you just said. Uh, the Angry Gamer says, how many pages are you planning on core draft to be? Right now, it is uh, 62. Wow. Is what I it's think, at right now. I, yeah, I think I, I think I had to bump it to sixty-two pages, yeah. and um, uh, but we're, it's still in it, it's there, still in play. There's a work in progress because that that's just I got the first version of the script completely done. It's going through an editing process right now, and then we're gonna see. One second. Go some, right ahead. We're gonna Fun see what right thought. Back. So we're gonna see where it goes, but probably will be a little bit bigger. But we'll see how it turns out. But it's at least 62 right now. Yeah. AJ says I pinned it. The book itself is 64. The story is 62. And, you know, if we have to add pages, you will. I did pin it at the top. I totally forgot. You're off the hook. But there's Val showing what a good mod he is. Thank he you. There's is. the link for the sign up. Val rocks. So yeah, go he does. sign up. He always hooks up. He's a great guy. Uh, Val, uh, I should totally be made a mod. Prater, I thought you were a mod. We'll have to do that. I don't have YouTube open. We're just working off of Dennis's laptop right now as we are on location. And that's right. If you sign up, you do get a free trading card. And in fact, if you sign up, I'll show you the trading cards you get. If you sign up and back the campaign, you'll get this lovely Lilineth trading card. That's lovely. Thank you. I just like using the word lovely. Lovely, lovely Lilineth. Lilineth. It just King, flows. King flows. So that is the trading card you will Rolled get if you sign up and back the campaign. There's a super chat. That's what we like. That's what Daddy likes to see. <laughs> Daddy's buying a beer tonight. Hey, Daddy, I am. <laughs> you are, but you are when we share a room at a hotel. Yeah, I, I get to be the daddy. You do. But Bud always brings Bud. Uh, Randy says, "Sign me up for the triple cover pack. We'll That's get strong. beanies with this campaign." Triple. So, so, Randy, here's the deal. It's not triple cover. It's four covers. Because we are doing the main cover. We are doing the, the wraparound, wraparound cover with no logo that I did. Yep, yeah, I did a wrap. Beautiful. I'll show you. Uh, we are doing the main cover, black and white. And the only color on the cover besides the logo is going to be the blood on the axe. So, black, white, and blood cover. Because and then we have, asked for it. That's right. And then we have Bud Roots cover. So it's the Barbarian Bundle 4-pack. The Barbarian Bundle. That's what you're looking that's at what we're there, calling The beautiful the barbarian, barbarian, bar barbarious bundle. That's, that's right. right. So thank you for that $10, Life Randy. Is wonderful. Uh, if uh, Bud, apparently, I thought I showed it to him. He has not seen the wraparound cover. So I'll show you guys. This is going to be the wraparound cover with no logo. Holy smokes. So no logo on that. That's the wraparound cover. That's with the cool Andy Smith. Thank you. See, you're supposed to get worse as you get older. But and then uh, backwards. just in one aspect, do I get worse? I'll leave okay. it at that. I can't tell you. About it. This is a clean show. 
Uh, it's nothing it's not blue pills don't fix, Andy. And there's the, <laughs> there's the main cover. And I do not have a blue pills here. That's right. And I do not have a copy of the black and white and blood cover, but basically it's this cover. The barbarous black and white. And barbarous. that's right. And black and white. And the only color is the red blood on the axe. That's cool. So it's a yeah, four pack, know. not a three pack of covers. And you never know if the campaign does well. Maybe I'll reach out to another artist about another cover. You just don't know. But four right now is a rocking it. You should cover Cordrath with splattered blood on that black and white cover. Maybe like Kiss, I'll draw my own. You know what? You usually got Steve Mannion to do a cover. Steve yeah. Mannion would do an awesome cover like this. But that's not a bad idea. I actually did or think Elf. about that. Oh, yeah. I actually did think about that, AJ, of adding some blood splatter on the cover as well, besides just what's on the axe. I just have to see how it looks. So we'll see. Uh, I mean, oh, enough of it got on the logo. The drawn and quartered pack. Oh. oh. <laughs> Look at that. That's a, that's a good name. Who did that? That was uh, Randy, man. Thank you, Randy. Randy. That's a nice one. Nice. Kudos. Angry says going for the black and white. That's nice. Uh, we want a black cover ink with Nassar's. Oh, stop it. Van Schnitzel? <laughs> yeah, that's about Bell. it. Hit no. the like. That's right, everybody. Hit the like, like button. Austrian pastry. Hit the subscribe button and uh, hit the notification bell so you know Absolutely. when we go live. And make sure you've got uh, this channel and the DNA, the Dennis and Andy show, depending on which one you're watching on us now. That's make right. sure you the subscribe to both of us. Barbarian, you know, bloody, you know, bundle. There is going. That's right. And there is going to be a uh, oversized uh, artist edition, even though I can't technically call it that, hardcover of the book with just scans of all their original art in full color. So you see the, the gray tones in the ink and all that as well. So there's going to be one of those available. And this bad boy will be featured in it because bad, bad girl, bad girl, this bad, bad girl. girl will be featured in the artist edition of the book. And that book is called, because I can't use Artist Edition because IDW uses it. I can say it, but I can't use it on the book. And that book is uh, Black, White, and Raw. And Raw. And raw. Black, White, and Raw. It's the raw art. Oh, Sounds look like at Stat Zero. Zero. Stat Zero in the house. The Stat Art Zero. Smith Edition. Hey. I like it. A little wordplay there. Good man. Uh, what is What is he saying? I'm going to need to buy copies for my kids because Uncle Dennis is the writer. You could do it the DNA edition. That's right. Like we'll play on words there, DNA. I know. I know. There's so many good things we could the do. DNA edition. And I'll touch every one so some remnants of DNA will be on it. <laughs> well, it's true. You don't want to. Yeah, 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 because that's what's look. going through your mind. Yeah. Yeah. I'm touching this right now. My skin is flaking off, and Ser now there's Andy DNA Seriously, on there. there is nothing rated PG that ever goes through your mind. Mm -hmm. You're insane. So back to the book. So you start Cave Woman, and and the first issue comes out, and just like Billy Tucci, she it shoots right up the sky, the charts, it, it, and it's a good. huge success. Yeah. It, it, Who it, published it? Um, I did. Okay. So it was self-published completely. It, was, it, it looked. I had no computer, no nothing. I just I cut everything out and put the logos over the original art, and mm -hmm. it was it was a mess. It was terrible. But people people bought it. I remember Sheldon um, coming up to me for after issue two and saying it's actually selling. I was so pleased. Dude, that's awesome. Was yep. so well, I've got there. It wasn't really trade paper numbers, but, you know, it's, it's good for me. That's a good, we call that a good start. It's yeah. a good start. Yeah. yeah, I've got the original trade paper back. I told you I picked it up, had you sign it. You gave me one of the Cave Woman action figures, which I have. You, you give me everything. You uh, too. And I do. We swap back and forth. Dennis, of course, does not oh, own any person. Cave Woman because he hates you. <laughs> I, just, I don't know. <laughs> also not true, I'm not but leave it to Andy. Everyone's cup of tea, you know. What? You don't own Cave Woman. Get sure, out. I do. No, you don't. Yeah, I got some Cave Woman. Oh, yeah. As soon as I introduced you to him, you're like, now I need to go buy some. Oh, yeah. I'm like, oh, I got to go buy some of Bart's great or uh, uh, Bart. Uh, wow, you Bart's can't even get great, it right. uh, yeah, artwork maybe. here. Hold on. Maybe I should move this camera. So <laughs> no, you, should, you should take the camera and get what? He's, he's, he's sounded, oh, he's awake. He's behind you. He of course he's awake. Look at this he's little enthralled guy. in this conversation. He's so enthralled. So much. He's like, I can't stand what? to look at Andy in the face anymore, so I'm going behind. That's not bad either, the one-to-one -one edition. I understand that. That's not bad either. None of this is locked in stone, of course. Oh, look at this. There's written, a lot of the, 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 written in stone. Exactly. The pillage and pillage plunder and pack. Plunder. Oh, Ooh. see, none of these. They're barbarian bundles, not locked in stone. So if one of your ideas happens to be the name of that tier, 
thank you in advance. You and then the, we'll give you a shout out. Okay. And I'll you give, give you, you a shout the barbarian out. Bo- the barbarian bumble that was, that was uh, 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 raped and pillaged. Whoa, 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 for, whoa, whoa. Yeah. We, don't not, not to, raped we don't need the R word in there. Well, you know, we are going to have different tiers. So we could we could take some of these to heart and have multiple really good labeled tiers. Could be. Tears. Tears we'll for fears. Tears for fears. Exactly. Shout. Shout. Let, Let it all out. out. These are the things we can do without. Come, Come on. on. Just what you all tuned in for. That is almost that, like. That's another thing about being on the road with them. We always sing. We do. That's right. And unlike Dennis, Bud knows I'm a singing champ. He can, he can do uh, a. Ben Hagar. Ben Hagar. Oh, oh he can. Oh, he can he just can't Hagar. actually hit he the can't. notes oh, or oh, hold oh, the tune, oh, 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 but he can sing oh, it. Oh, oh, oh. You can't do John Denver. John Denver. <laughs> John Denver. We massacre John Denver. Every we try. Every time. Whoa, whoa. Rocky Mountain, we did good. Did you and, do good? Well, we did good. Rocky Mountain. Until Andy sang. Oh, other than doing it, we now did great. Right. Now do ACDC. See, we're getting recorded. Oh, ACDC. <laughs> so ACDC is one of my that. favorite bands of all time. Until I sing. Oh yeah, then it did. Then then I listened to Axel Rose sing it. Oh, uh, Axel Rose did. He did. He yeah. went on tour for 10, uh, 10 shows when oh, Brian sorry. Johnson had his uh, throat surgery. Oh, oh here's a question. Mm-hmm. And he did a great job. Oh, I'm sad. Yeah, you too. I'll let you uh, answer, but I already know the answer. He says, "Hey, quick question. Do you still have any of your Coan, the Barbarian comic, still available? Tried to send Bud an email, but got no response. But my uh, Coan, the Barbarian comic. Yeah, the sketch." Coan. Coan. Oh, Coan. Coan. Okay. Coan. Yeah, that's Coan. Still have bra, that's bra, bra. Okay, I got it wrong. I said Coan. Yeah, it, yeah I've got so a anyhow, bunch of them. Yeah. Well, he said he tried emailing and got no response. So oh, yeah, I'm terrible with email. Um, customer service, apparently. Just, uh, just uh, put... Uh, Do you want me to type it in? Yeah, get, get, get out. It's a message, Andy, or myself, your, your address, and we'll send it for you. It's 30 bucks, $5 for mailing. There you go. So it's 35 bucks. a little something extra, because I do that. 35 bucks and uh, Bud takes PayPal. So, uh, or send a check, or yeah, who does checks? I, who I, has I, checks anymore? I got what four checks, honey. <laughs> really? Some people hate PayPal, you know. Oh, okay, wow. Um, shoot me, shoot me an email and then I'll get it over to them. And uh, and you can email me at andysmithart.com, very dependable, and I'll get it over to them. I think and one of the mods can pop that up there. Like he said, it's thirty-five bucks. That includes shipping, so uh, well he, worth he it. He does still that, have some that, available. Is that Barry? Barry B E R I. Yeah, you, but Barry? that's one of those names you don't want to read the whole thing. All see right. what it says. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Is that is that our is that our normal weekly friend? Uh, no, I don't think so. That oh. one's a little tame. Cool. Fun fact: Andy also can't drive fifty-five. I can't. No, he usually no. drives about 25. Oh, F no, he, no. And everybody passes no, he, us, he, he flips us off because we're in the left lane it. doing 25. This is true. Cordrath would murder Conan in a Yeah, it's, unfortunately, it's true. Yeah, that, that is true. But, but Conan would be a good sidekick. There you go. You can email me right there. There it is. And I'll get you in touch with Bud, no problem. Hell, you could even uh, – uh, I'll get you in touch with Bud. Just email yeah. me. And uh, we'll take care of it so you can get you a Coan, the Barbarian. Oh, it's not a pain, Marcus. It's it's, it's more than $5 if you're overseas, though. Yeah, if you're overseas, the shipping will be a little bit more. So please, if you email me, Still. let me know where you live if you're not in country. Because uh, it would be over Like Australia. Months. Right. If you're out of country, it will be more. But uh, I think that's about it. We're going to wrap it up and go get some dinner. If you have any last we'll questions. some footballs. Throw some football around. By the way, we, did, we did that right beforehand. And but how did we do? We, we, you and I did great. Oh, right. right. Exactly. We did great. Dennis threw out his shoulder because the ball's a little heavy. He <laughs> asked if we could deflate it like Tom Brady. So, and I said, no, but no, so, no, Dennis. We play real ball, like not a, deflate ball. Like a true Cowboys fan. He, very Cowboys. first bat, kick ball was right here, and he uh, drops it. Oh, oh and they please. call that a catch. No, I have a cannon, don't I? See, I got a cannon. Andy won't admit it. I've got a cannon I could catch. But I was a defensive tackle, so I've never I'm not supposed to be doing that, but I still could. See, yeah. But I'm no Brett Favre. Yeah, Look at that. Is, he's the best looker of us. So we have to make it up for whatever, our football. Oh, yeah. Look at we, that. we just have athleticism. He right. Bud's, just got, Bud's got no problem telling Dennis he has a cannon. I've never heard his wife Susie say that once. So I'm just saying. 
That's because she doesn't <laughs> kiss and tell, unlike you. Oh, well, I've never said you had a cannon either. <laughs> so, yeah, we might not make it we to should supper probably tonight. Go before this really, you know, starts. Happening. <laughs> and Andy, do a do a book look on your new Brian Bolin book. I will do oh. that. I will definitely do a book look Brian on the Brian Bolin. He hasn't even cracked it open I've yet. Got, it's still in the shrink it's, wrap. It's still, I just saw it. I'm like, ah. Oh. It is still in the shrink wrap. It's the Brian Bolin Judge Dread Apex Edition that shows all their original art, just like the Hal Foster one. Yeah, that's amazing. except it's that Bolin. Hal one. So yeah, I would definitely do a book look on that. Uh, guys, one more time for those just joining. This is Bud's phenomenal cover for Core Draft. Thank you, everybody. Round of applause. That's I can't right. wait. I can't really wait. This is phenomenal. As soon as I get this scanned, I will post it on social media. As soon as Dan Lawless colors it, it'll be posted around as well with the logo treatment and everything. Uh, let's see. We've got another comment that looks like poor Bud is the meat and the sandwich. That's right. <laughs> Somebody's got to be. That's right, yeah. It's just like on the road trips. Bud's Already. usually sitting in the back seat, and we're usually laughing no mayo, and yelling. No salt. Yep, that's right. Oh, got to have the mail. You you're talking about. Uh, you know, there, when I said oh, I boy. need to have somebody do a cover, I knew that there was literally. There was only one man for the job. That's right. And it's Bud Root. And remember, guys, if you like this For content, more awesome content, like and subscribe now. For yes, yes, you should. Isn't it that's amazing how true. deep my voice gets? When we modulate it, it's amazing. <laughs> Is that you, really? No, not okay. a chance. Oh, no, not at all. Not a chance. Not at all. <laughs> if his wife heard that, she'd be like, oh, my God, I could have married Vin a real Diesel. man. Yeah, it's like, like a, a Darth Vader or something. You know, every now and then yeah, when the go. show's over. You know, you're the reason why she will not watch this show. Oh, Every now and then when the show's over, this is what Dennis does. This is humor, honey. You should see this. This is this is what I have to put up with a crying dentist when the show is over. So, so are we zoolandering to get out of this? Is that what we're doing? We're going to be get. Oh, we could do that. Uh, I just want to pop this. Uh, yeah, the cover looks good. Stat Thank Zero you. says, "Hot dang, that looks great." You Thank know you. it. Uh, AJ you. says, "Thank you, Bud. Standing Thank you, ovation in. That's nice." Uh, what do we got here? Was that Cord's Wrath speaking? It could be. Yep. It could have been Cord's Wrath. Uh, Bud needs to be a recurring guest. We well, can try. does need to be a recurring we can guest. Try. In fact, since I'm over at his crib, I can see if he has the equipment to do it. Oh, yeah. That's so, uh, <laughs> so, oh, I'm serious. So we can definitely that see. And, scary. And it's hook. so easy. It's so easy, Bud. It's so easy. If Andy can do it, you can do if it. If I can do it, start anybody can. my equipment. <laughs> But guys, oh, oh damn, it. Bud laid it down. Wow, when Bud <laughs> only slapped down on you, yeah. you know you suck. I only know about Bud's equipment when we share a room. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, until next time, next Wednesday, we are going to have yeah. Michael <laughs> Bancroft on the Michael show. Bancroft. Yeah. Michael Bancroft coming on the show next Wednesday, all the way from Australia. So he's at a, he'll be getting up super, super early. But he, he agreed. Wow. He did. He no, agreed. not me, Michael Bancroft. Oh, he's yeah. in Australia. So, he, so five o'clock is five in the morning over there. So that's right. He's getting up just for the show. Well, for the show, you I would all hope so. That's right. So until next time, everybody, we'll catch you guys later. No gang signs. Good Lord.